Hey guys, I have got a ton of new luxury in. I purchased a whole bunch. I have a few things that I got in PR. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to actually apply all of these things onto my face today, but we'll at least go through it, talk about it, swatch it, and at least give you as much information as possible, especially if it's something that's gonna be available at Sephora during the Sephora event, which is fast coming up. I think uh, Rouge members can start shopping. Is it the 14th? I think it's the 14th. Anyway, I'm gonna get my recommendations up soon. I cannot believe it's already April. I keep thinking, oh, it's a couple weeks away. It's a couple weeks away. And at this point it's like a week away. So <laughs> I'll be getting up my recommendations and uh, my shop with me and my hauls and all that stuff. But let's take a look <laughs> at what I have today uh, for this video. So I did place an order at Sephora. Again, just trying to get all of the new stuff in before the event starts. I did pick up the new Kosas Sun Show Glowy Warmth Baked Bronzer. I loved their original bronzer. I don't know, it has the same name, so I don't know if they like reformulated it. I'm not sure, but I love the original one that came in like that kind of mint green packaging. So I really wanted to pick this up. I also picked up the Guerlain Terracotta Luminizer, the shimmering powder. So exciting. I picked up one of the new Tom Ford Liquid Lip Luxe Matte Lippies, and I got it in the shade 120 Naked Haze, which I think is the most kind of nude neutral shade. Um, but I asked you guys on my community tab whether or not you wanted to see me try this, what your thoughts were, and many of you replied actually that you did. I got a bunch of thumbs up. So I uh, got that. And then there's actually gonna be two perfumes <laughs> in today's video. This is the first one, the Soleil De Defou? Defou? F-E-U. Fou. I'm gonna say Fou. Soleil De Fou. And uh, this is Tom Ford's newest addition to the Soleil line. It's an EDP and it's supposed to be, I forget, I read like the quote from Tom Ford, out of the Soleil line because that's kind of like a bright uh, summery kind of line for Tom Ford. I think this one is supposed to be the most like sensual, the sexiest version of that. Anyway, I thought I'd give it a shot. So that's what I picked up at Sephora. And then I picked up a couple of things at Neiman Marcus. Tom Ford has come out with more eye quads and the wet dry formula. And they, he came out with three of them, I believe. My essay over at Neiman Marcus sent me pictures of them. I hadn't seen them online. I hadn't seen teasers. I was like, what are these? And so I picked two because the third one, I'll try and find the picture that he sent and I'll flash it up here. The third one, the one all the way on the left, it just, it, I don't know, it looked kind of familiar. Like, didn't we do this already? It also was a color story. It's, I think the warmest one. Anyway, so I picked up Golden Hour and Hazy Sensuality. So we'll take a look at those. And then for the second fragrance in today's video, I decided to get the Creed Neroli Sauvage. So this is uh, a very, very crisp citrusy with like a little bit of a musky base. And I really wanted to try this. So we'll try this as well. I did actually just spray some perfume on. Anyway, we'll spray those and see what those smell like. I picked up one of the new Gucci quads um, at Saks. We have a lot of eyeshadows. So again, I'm not gonna be able to get it all on my eyes, but I did wanna show them to you and swatch them and at least give you my kind of first impressions thoughts on them. And then from Chanel, the uh, Le Blanc collection came out. And the only thing that really interested me was the illuminating blush powders, the one that has that kind of pinky peach look to it. It has the CCs in the middle. So I picked up that. I didn't pick up the Iqua that has like the yellow and the lilac color. I'm like, these are just shades I'm not gonna use. Even though it did look very pretty, it looked very Chanel, but I'm like, I'm not gonna use that quad. So I didn't pick that up. Um, but I did also pick up one of their hydrating, beautifying tinted lip balms in the shade 930 Sweet Treat, which is a little bit on the deeper side. And then I did get a bunch of things in PR, which we will either throw in here or whatever. We'll talk about, we'll we'll swatch if I feel like we have time. I already feel like I'm rambling on for too long, but I got the Hourglass eyeshadow sticks. I got a bunch of new lippies from Clay de Poe. I got a bunch of new lippies from NARS. Um, and I got a bunch of things from Shiseido. So uh, yeah, if I need something, I'll pull from there, but I kind of want to focus on the things that I purchased. Oh, there is one thing I wanted to unbox with you guys. It's from Saks and it just, it just made me laugh because it reminded me of the conversation that I had with you guys regarding uh, my love of hand soap. And when I was doing uh, my Beautylish gift card event haul, I had also gotten that Jo Malone pillow mist. And I was like, these are just ridiculous things to, <laughs> to like develop a habit around. And 
this is something, this is actually the second bottle of this that I've purchased. And I'm like, this definitely falls into that category of ridiculous things to spend your money on. I feel like I should make a video called ridiculous things to spend your money on. But this makes me so happy. I had to re-up on, oh, the label's dirty. I had to re-up on my Maison Francis Kirchens Aqua Universalis um, laundry detergent. Yeah, talk about a bad habit to get into. Um, I only use it for like my uh, bed sheets. Um, I'll use it for my my intimates, my base layers, if you will. I will use them for like sweatshirts and stuff. It just it just smells so so good. But I did want to share this purchase with you guys. Um, like I said, I think this is my second bottle, and it's. I love it, I love it. A ridiculous thing to spend your money on. Anyway, if you guys are interested in that video, please let me know. <laughs> I could make a really long video on that. Let's talk about these fragrances. Let's just open up this Creed. Here's the bottle. And Aventus for her from Creed is one of my all-time favorite fragrances. It is very light, very citrusy. And most Creed fragrances, not all of them, but most of them have uh, like a citrus base. I feel like that's what their fragrances are always built on. Ooh. This one I think is very unisex. So the top notes are bergamot grapefruit, the middle notes are verbena and neroli, and base notes, ambergris. So it must be the ambergris that I'm smelling that's sort of um, musky to me, or maybe just sort of a mixture of all of that. Maybe a mixture of the neroli and the ambergris. It's so, so fresh, it's so unisex. I really, really enjoy it. And I opted just to go for the bigger bottle because I knew I was gonna like it. <laughs> I generally like all of the Creed fragrances I've either tried or sniffed. Uh, so anyway, that is a big win. Let's try the Tom Ford. As you guys know, Tom Ford is very hit or miss for me when it comes to fragrances. I actually, I don't know, I'm not always the biggest fan of the Soleil line, even though the way it's described seems like the perfect fragrance for me. But I really, really like his uh, deeper, more masculine ones, like the Tobacco Vanille and Tuscan Leather. Those two are probably two of my like all-time favorite um, fragrances. So when they describe this one as being deeper, I was actually like more intrigued than the other ones. So here is the bottle, and I got a smaller one of this because I wasn't sure. Oh, oh, kind of smelled like a like a cookie at first. What? Hold on, let me spray over here. That is so interesting. I have to look up the notes because it's it's like a jumble of like a cookie and something slightly, you know, musky, deeper. Okay, it is warm and spicy and oh, that's not helpful. I'm on the Tom Ford site and there's <laughs> no mention of notes, just one of those really creative paragraphs or sentences about it. The amber woody scent evokes the molten sun descending in a burnished blaze over the sea, painting the sky with fiery strokes of bronze solar light. Well, that tells me nothing. So opens with a hint of citrus, followed by this floral coconut blast. That's what it is. Uh, it, that cookie is kind of like toasted coconut. That's what it smells like. So it makes it almost like a, like a gourmand kind of fragrance, but not quite as deep. Definitely is lighter. It definitely is more of a a, a sunset kind of fragrance. Uh, citrus, amber. They keep mentioning tuberos. I don't smell tuberos. No. Wow, this is really interesting. This, I think, is definitely my favorite Soleil scent. Ooh, I'm glad I picked this up. All right, so that's the Tom Ford Soleil de, de, de Faux, de Faux, de Faux. Okay, now I feel like I'm saying Willem Dafoe. Moving on, so I've got a ton of, let's see, eyeshadows. Let's put those aside. The only new foundation I have is something Shiseido sent me. So we're gonna try this. This is a Synchro Skin Radiant Lifting Foundation, oil-free SPF 30. They sent me shades 140 and 150. I love their Synchro Skin foundation that comes in a tube. That one's really good. Oh look, the pump is like in the cap. Oh, how awesome, I like that design. So this is 140 and this is 150. Sorry, there's like a reflection there. 150 looks cooler. I'm gonna try 140. Oh, you have to twist. Otherwise this is locked, you can't press this down. Oh, genius. Oh, it has a pretty thin texture. You can see that running down my hand. That has more coverage than I was anticipating. 
Let's get that blended in. Now I feel like, is it too light? Hmm. I'm gonna try the 150 also, just because my forehead is so much darker. And the coverage on this is, I would say a medium. Yeah, medium. I think I just had the uh, the one in the squeezy tube, which has like a lighter coverage. I just had that in mind when I was applying this. Yeah, I think this shade is a little light for me, this 140. I think the 150 would have been better. I have that on my forehead. Yeah, that looks a little bit better, but I think I could get away with it, at least for this try on. It does match my neck pretty much. The finish of this is very natural. There really isn't much of a sheen. There really isn't much radiance, at least not on my skin. Oh, and the SPF in here is a mix of chemical and physical. I'm just using a sponge to kind of blend it in. I felt like you could see some brush strokes in there. Maybe it takes a little while to set down. Yeah. I actually think that looks pretty good now that it's kind of like settling down a bit. All right, for concealer, I don't have anything new. Surprise, surprise. I felt like I was testing a new concealer almost every other day for a while there, but I'm just gonna use the new Tom Ford concealer that I continue to test um, and I like it. I don't know, it's so strange. It's like, I really like it, but at the same time, I don't find it especially like mind blowing in any way. Does that make sense? It's a very like B plus. I like it, I would use it. If someone was dying to get it, I wouldn't talk them out of it. Yeah, it's just not up there with like my Dior, my Clay de Peau. What other concealers do I love? My Chanel. And then for powder, I'm gonna powder a little bit. I'm gonna use the Shiseido Synchro Skin because I don't have a new powder. I just have blush, bronzer, highlight. And they did send over the Invisible Silk Loose Powder Radiant. They also sent over Invisible Silk Loose Powder Matte. I'm gonna try the Radiant. Since I have such dry skin, I like a little radiance. Here's the packaging. Oh cool, there's this uh, like cap that sits on top of the powder, kind of separates it from the puff. That's very cool, don't throw that out. It's definitely handy to keep. I'm gonna use my La Mer Powder Brush. And this is a net top. Sorry, I'm getting up close to my mirror here to see if I see any radiance. I see a very, very slight kind of like pearly radiance. It's actually very, very pretty. Mmm, it's nice. Really, really nice. All right. Okay. So far, so very good. And then it's time for bronzer. So let's try the new Kosas Sun Show. I got it in the shade Beachy, light medium bronze, so it's not the lightest. I don't know, maybe that's a mistake, we'll see. I couldn't really tell online, of course. And it does look like they changed up the packaging, so now it's like a yellow tint instead of that um, like minty green. But it looks the same to me. Maybe there's a little bit more of a glow to it. I think you can probably see the reflection in the pan there. But the other one had a bit of glow too. It has that same kind of like, Weird scent. I know a lot of people didn't like it. It didn't bother me. I don't think it smells bad or anything. It just doesn't smell like any other <laughs> makeup product that I have. It's just very different. Okay, I'm gonna try this 103 brush from, Be whoa. Very powdery. <laughs> Be careful. Very, very powdery, wow. Let me do a swatch of this just so you guys can see. I do like the sheen that it has. I'm not someone that needs to have a matte bronzer. I really like radiance to my cheek products. And the tone is really nice. It's like a, like a peachiness, but I feel like once I get it on my cheek, I see a little bit of that red in there, which I really like when it comes to a bronzer. Now, again, I'm not sure if they, what they did. I'm not sure if they reformulated this or what happened. I feel like the older, version if this one is different i feel like that one blended a little bit more easily it also wasn't quite this powdery i just put a bunch on my nose to give me a sunburnt kind of look but i think i overdid it a little hold on <laughs> i really like the tone and the finish of this bronzer i just yeah i just don't feel like it's blending out quite as easily as the other version i had it does eventually, but just not quite as easily. 
and it is vegan, gluten-free, cruelty-free, free of mineral oil, silicones, fragrance, parabens, sulfates, and phthalates. Oh, so there's no fragrance in here, so we're just smelling the ingredients. Now for the Chanel Fantasy de Chanel Illuminating Blush Powder. So it comes with the, the typical velvet pouch, and this one comes with a separate flat brush in its own velvet pouch. Ooh, it is very, very emphasis on illuminating. So there is that, but wow, my cheeks are gonna be really glowy. That's pretty. Okay, that's a lot prettier than I thought this was gonna be. Wow. And this pink, you know, it looks like really bubblegum pink in the pan, but I feel like it has a touch of peachiness in there, which I think makes it, I don't know, a little bit more universal, a little bit more neutral. So I think, I don't know if you guys can see that. Do you see how much pinker the middle of those CCs are? That's where I've been swatching and dabbing my brush into. So I think that silverness is an overspray. However, the pink itself still has a lot of radiance to it. But yeah, the silver is definitely, is definitely an overspray. Okay, so there's the blush. Because it's so radiant, it's sometimes hard to like get a true sense of the color there. So I hope this swatch is more helpful than, <laughs> than what you see on my cheek, but wow. I don't even think I need highlight. We're gonna put it on, but not sure if you need it. Yeah, this is kind of like blush and highlight in one. So applied and nothing there. I do like how bright it is. I think it's really, really like pretty. It's very springy. I will say, I do feel like it's emphasizing my pores here a little bit, I think because of that illumination in there. Yeah, I think if I just kind of kept to my cheekbones back here, it'd be better, but putting it over here where I have <laughs> larger pores, that was not, that was not the best move. Okay, moving on to highlight. So we've got the Guerlain Terracotta Luminizer. Uh, the Shimmering Powder. Uh, I believe there's two shades in this and I got 00 Cool Ivory. The other one, which I think is just 01, was, uh, it, it looked a lot more like yellow gold, which is not very complimentary on me. So hopefully this will be just fine. Ooh, this is a baked, a baked gel powder. Ooh, here is that highlight. This is definitely like a harder, um, product, so I would use a dense brush, um, a natural hair brush, you'll definitely pick up the product more easily that way. And there is a little bit of a scent, I don't think this is the terracotta scent though. No, that's so strange. Okay, anyway. Oh, wow, okay. That is some super bright highlight. Hopefully the camera's catching that, it's like, really bright, very, very reflective. Let's see if I can get the angle right here. Yeah, this is more metallic than I was anticipating. Okay, ooh, that is really bright. Upon closer inspection, I don't think this is the smoothest looking highlight though. It's very reflective, it's not chunky or anything, but I really like those highlights that are like, like a satin, like brushed, sort of like crushed pearl kind of look. And this is just really metallic. It's like really just bright and shiny. Maybe I need to buff it in. Let's try that. Hmm. I don't think that did it. I think that just sort of blended some of it away. I don't think it really smoothed it out at all. Well, that's kind of a shame. I'll have to keep using it. But yeah, that's my first impression. Really high shine metallic, if that's all you want. This has it, <laughs> but it's not the smoothest. It's definitely not the smoothest. It's not like the Clay de Poe Luminizing Face Enhancer. That's like that really beautiful like satin. All right, well, good to know. I'm going to throw on the Persona Swipe Up Brow Gel. I don't have any new brow products. And I'm using this in charcoal. Okay, let's take a look at these new Tom Ford quads. I haven't even seen, I haven't even opened these up. I only saw the picture that I flashed earlier, the one that my <laughs> essay sent. So this one is number 40, Golden Hour. Oh, this is pretty. There's a little bit of a, yeah, like a reddish pink to it, but it's not, it's not really bright and cool toned, which is I think where you get into trouble. 
not trouble with those shadows, the pink red shadows. They're just harder to work with. Um, but let me do some swatches. God, I love this formula so much. I was so happy to see uh, these more kind of subdued neutral shades because when they came out with the electric cherry, I think, I was like, oh, those are so bright. <laughs> I'm not gonna wear those. But here is golden hour. Ooh, yeah, that is pretty. And then let's take a look at this one, which is Hazy Sensuality, number 42. So I guess it's number 41 that I skipped out on. Ooh, oh, okay. This one looks more promising, at least for me. It's a little bit more neutral, almost mauve I like this kind of pinky purpley shade. That's pretty. I feel like these top two shades are very nude dip, right? So that is Hazy Sensuality. I don't know who names these. <laughs> Ooh, I'm really liking the look of this one. All right, and then we have a Gucci quad. So Gucci just came out with some quads. I only saw three different colorways. So I decided to get number one, Summerina Brown. Again, it just seemed like the most neutral and the quad that I would, you know, use the most. But here is the packaging, so pretty. Gold toned with that black artwork on the top. So this is meant for the eyes and the face. So here's Summerina Brown. This one said eyes and face, so I guess they're saying you can use this as a highlighter. This one said eyes and cheeks, so I guess you could use this as a blush, and these two just said eyes over them. It does come with this little brush, which I won't use. And let me do some swatches of this. Ooh, these feel really so, oh, this one is a cream product. So there are the four products. That does look like a pretty highlight. And I was so surprised that this was a cream. <laughs> oh, cool, okay. Wow, this could be great for travel. I really wanna try out this blush. Let's just, let's just play. I'm gonna clean off my finger here and I'm gonna use this first finger, go into this cream product. Just tap it right here. It is very pigmented. Yeah, it is very, very pigmented. You do not need a lot on your finger to get a pretty, wow, that's really bright, right? I overdid it, didn't I? Oh, I overdid the blush again. That's nice though. It's a nice blush. That is very exciting. All right, sorry, that was a little distracting. Well, since the Tom Ford shadows are all kind of shimmery, I'm gonna start with the Gucci uh, since they have these two matte shades. So these two are matte, this one is a shimmer. There's the cream. I'm gonna start with this shade over here. That blended out nicely. I like the shade. Shades like this can sometimes turn really warm or muddy looking on my eyes, but this kind of stayed true to what it looks like in the pan. All right, so I'm gonna put this aside. I'm gonna bring out Hazy Sensuality. By looking at these swatches, I do really wanna try this a uh, purpley shade, this guy right here. Put that all over the lid. Ooh. I feel like it's almost brighter on my lid than it was in the swatch. That's fairly unusual. Okay. I think it's like neutral enough to not look like I have pink eye or anything. You guys let me know down below in the comment section what you guys think of this shade. Because, you know, we've talked a lot about pink and red eyeshadows here, like, Sometimes they just don't work, but this one I think looks okay because I think it has a little bit of that lilac in there. I was gonna say, I'm gonna do something different to this eye, but I am going out <laughs> right after filming. So let me just add this color to my other eye now. I think it's pretty. It doesn't bother me. I don't feel like it makes like the whites of my eyes look pink. So that's good. That's a really good sign. <laughs> Let's go back to this gold, oh this golden hour one. Yeah, let's try this one over here, which is, well, it's actually in the same position as that lilac one in the other quad, right down here. And get that on the outer corner. I'm just kind of laying it on top of the Gucci. And then I'm gonna go into this shade up here and kind of uh, blend it out. This is a very summery look. 
I don't know that I would wear this every day. Um, in terms of formula, I think both of these quads perform like the regular wet dry formula that I'm used to. I do feel like sometimes the wet dry formula can feel a little chunky sometimes or drier, but these two actually feel very, very good. They feel like, you know, like the ones that we love, Nude Dip, Honeymoon. Um, these are very consistent with those. So that is very exciting. Yeah, and these are very pretty. I think because I've been doing such subtle eye looks lately, even something like this now, I'm like, wow. <laughs> but it's really pretty. I like how um, those two colors actually blended together. All right, so, well, big thumbs up for both of these quads and this one from Gucci. All right, I'm just gonna curl my eyelashes. Use the Wayne Goss waterproof. Ooh, I got some on my lids. Wait for that to dry. <laughs> ah, okay, I'm gonna throw on some Hourglass um, eyeliner here. I'm just gonna tight line. And then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take a very small pencil brush. This one is 03 from Refer. I'm gonna go into this deep brown here in the Gucci palette. Just pick up a little bit and just bring that along my lower lash line. All right, and for lips, I have two new lip products. I have the Chanel Rouge Coco Balm. Let's just try that on, because that'll be easy to try and wipe off. Um, so this is the one that comes in the white packaging, which I really love. So it's just a like a tinted balm. And this one is shade 930 Sweet Treat. So there is Sweet Treat. It's so interesting, this balm is almost it almost has like a matte finish. But do you see that? There's like no shine to this balm. It feels like a balm. Interesting, interesting. And I feel like I have other ones of this and it's more of like a juicy, a juiciness. Huh. Well, if you guys are looking for a matte lip balm, I think while this isn't advertised that way, I feel like this is kind of a matte tinted lip balm. It feels really nice, I'm so confused. Have you guys tried this? Let us know down below in the uh, comment section uh, if you're having the same experience as me. Maybe it's my super dry lips, I don't know. All right, I'm gonna take this off and let's try the new Tom Ford Liquid Lip Luxe Matte. So this is definitely supposed to be matte. Here is the packaging. Ooh, very pretty. It has like a frosted plastic bottom. Let me see. I'm going to hold it up next to the concealer. It is a little bit larger and fatter than the concealer. Ooh, I really like this shade. Very pretty. This is made in Italy. There's just the slightest amount of tack. I mean, barely anything. Sorry, I'm just going to sit here for a while because I'm curious as to whether this is going to start to feel dry on my lips. Hold on, I'll be right back. Okay, it's only been about five minutes, but it doesn't feel very drying on the lips, which is nice. Hold on, let's do a kiss test. Oh, wow. Yeah, right, there's like nothing. Okay, non-transferable matte liquid lip that does not feel that dry. I think the only time I've ever come across uh, like a matte liquid lip that doesn't feel that dry still transfers a little bit, right? It has like a little bit of like a cushiony comfort feeling to it. So there's a little bit of transfer, but there's no transfer here. I'm kind of impressed with this. It feels almost like there's nothing on your lips. That is so <laughs> interesting. Wow, okay, okay. Well, I'm gonna be um, vlogging the rest of my day. So after this goes up, if you do watch all my videos, you're gonna see a vlog of me <laughs> going to the strip and meeting Jen Love and her family. And I'm gonna keep this on and see what happens. Well, thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed it. I always love trying on new makeup. I would say the only product that I'm gonna consider returning is the Guerlain Terracotta Luminizer. I just, it's not, it's not an awful product. It's just not as good as a lot of the highlighters that I have in my collection. But the Kosas bronzer, I really do like this tone. I really, really like the Tom Ford quads. I'm very impressed with this Gucci. I was very pleasantly surprised by that cream blush. That was like such a neat surprise. Um, these two fragrances are winners. You know, that's hard with fragrance too. So the Neroli Sauvage by Creed, the Soleil, De, de, please someone tell me how to pronounce that. Foo, foo or faux is 
Wonderful. It's so different. I can still smell it. It's so different from the other Soleil's. Yeah, it's so interesting. The Shiseido products, very beautiful, I think, on my skin. Oh, and that Chanel blush, so pretty. That Chanel balm is, is confusing to me. I don't hate it. It's just not what I thought because it doesn't have like a juicy tinted balm kind of finish. Um, and this I'm totally impressed by. My lips, still. They feel, they feel like nothing is on them. It's so strange. It's so strange. All right, that is it. Well, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Subscribe down below if you haven't already. I'll be getting my Sephora videos up very, very soon. And I'll see you in the next one.